people come into our life for a reason. There was a young man who suffered from internet addiction in his high school senior years. In order to make it to the internet cafe, he would climb over the dormitory walls every single night. On a starlit, moonless night, he climbed over the walls as per usual. But this time, things had begun to change. As he was climbing the walls that night, he stopped suddenly, turned back, and ran like he had never run before. His face was pale, and when he was asked why, he kept silent. What was more intriguing was, since then, he started to take his studies very seriously, and was no longer addicted to the internet. It was as if he had reinvented himself. After witnessing the transformation in him, everyone in school agreed that he had run into some kind of ghost that night. The young man did exceptionally well in his university entrance exam, and made his way to a prestigious college. Many years later, when his fellow schoolmates asked about that incident, he finally let the cat out of the bag. He said. That night, when I was about to jump over the wall, I saw a man on the other side. I asked myself, "Who could that be out there in the middle of the cold night?" I was shocked when I saw the man's face. It was my father. He then explained that day, my father came to see me at school to pass me some money. Being a thrifty man, staying at a hotel was out of question. That was why he ended up sleeping where I found him that night, by that wall, in that cold, breezy night. People come into our life for a reason. One thing is for sure: they have a very strong predestined affinity with us. Hence, we have to understand, no matter how they treat us. Be it good or bad, it is all because of such affinities. There is a lesson to learn from everyone who passes through our life. We learn gratitude from those who love us. We learn dedication from those whom we love. We learn tolerance from those whom we dislike. And we learn psychological exercises like self-reflection and to be penitent from those who dislike us, as they help us grow. We should be thankful to those who have hurt us. On this path of spiritual cultivation, learn how to embrace all kinds of affinities, be it positive or negative. Take them as life lessons, and cherish the wisdom, grace, and knowledge that we have gained. Regard the love of our parents, grandparents, teachers, and friends as chains of cause and effect. In all interpersonal relationships, we should learn to take whatever destiny hands us. While we cherish our loved ones, we too should see the realities of such relationships. When there is strength in our body and serenity in our mind, we shall find ease in every step.